Thank you so much, um, Mr. Tito, for this opportunity. I really not say much more because a lot of things have actually been said. Uh, like what uh, the engineer has actually said, that uh, we actually have a very good reputation as Zimbabweans. And we are actually leaders, if you would check. I, would, um, I actually had, uh, we were together at the same university, Wuhan University. He was doing masters. I was also at the School of Law doing my masters. Within the first year, my first year, when I went to the second year, the university actually appointed me the general secretary of uh, the Wuhan University International Students Union. I was actually a Laoban or a boss, <laughs> if you say in English. Yeah. And so socially, when I went to church, I'm a Catholic. I was also a member of the church. I was also appointed the general secretary as well of the Catholic Church. So I, say, I was also a Laoban at uh, both the university and at the church. This was all because of the reputation that we have and also the skills that we showed them that we actually have. They were happy, you know, to work with people from Zimbabwe because they realized that they have skills. Our university actually, actually had about 3,500 international students. And when you are picked out of those people, it really shows that they have great respect for your country. And we need to maintain that as, as Zimbabweans. About, normally the first question that people would ask is, how is life there in China? Life is very easy. Life is very simple. You can always enjoy. Uh, she talked about the WeChat. You need also to create a WeChat uh, account so that you can link up with you know, Zimbabwe. There are actually a lot of Zimbabweans. And one thing that most of the universities now have done is they have dedicated like, uh, schools to deal with international students. So within those schools, that's where they have the International Students Union. But most universities now, they now have. So make sure you can also check on, website, on their website. Probably they can actually put contact details of the student leaders of those, uh, the, the union. And also they have country representative. Each and every university, like at our university, we had a country representative of every country. So that if you are coming from any country, you can get in touch with your country leader and they'll show you around, they'll tell you more about uh, China. And me as a lawyer, definitely one thing that I would really want you guys to remember and make sure that you do is to respect the laws, make sure you study and you know the laws, you understand. That was actually my duty, teaching people as well Chinese culture, how to respect the laws, how are the Chinese laws. So those are also very important things that you need to do as a human being. And one thing also I've seen, that most of you guys, you are government officials. So when you are government officials, we believe you are actually our future leaders, either in government or whatever sectors that you are in. So China right now has two main concepts which I've seen and I've also tried to read and study. So I would also encourage you when you go to study, number one is the One Belt, One Road Initiative, which we might not be directly linked to that, but we also are a beneficiary and we also have a link. So make sure when you go there as government officials, try to read and research on how we as Zimbabwe or as Southern Africa, we can take part and participate in the One Belt, One Road Initiative. Because that is the number one national anthem around China and they're trying to make sure that they bring each and every person on board. So make sure you are representing Zimbabwe. So make sure you bring Zimbabwe on board and we are part of the One Belt, One Road initiative. The other concept I would also want you to learn is the community of shared future for human mankind. It's another new concept also in China, which I would really want you guys, when you go there, make sure these are main principles that you need to read and research. And recently, uh, there's actually a book which was written by President Xi Jinping I don't know if the embassy have it, but probably they will show you. When you get into China, make sure the first thing you do when you open it up our account, buy that book, read it. It will tell you more about the leadership style of President Xi Jinping, how the Chinese dream, how they want you know, to lead and how they want to incorporate and to bring everyone on board. So those are the three things that I would really urge you and I want you to go and make sure that you master. Thank you so much. I wish you. Sir Jenny.